my boy. Damn, if they only knew. But like, I was shocked too, though. Like, like that day when I was riding home with Philly in the car. Yeah, I don't no. know if I can tell that story. If you want me to tell that story, no, nah, no, nah, she's a mother now. <laughs> she's a mother now. Yeah, we can't do that because that day was that it, day dog. changed my life. It, I ain't gonna lie. That, that day changed my life. That's when Swaggy P was like, "Okay, man, I got to This is what NBA is about." I like, hey, listen, I, hey. NBA, hey, listen, I'll let you know this is. Yeah. I mean, I'm riding in a car. He in the back seat. <laughs> I turn my head. This nigga against. Huh? Nah, nah. <laughs> what was you doing in that back seat, Gil? Huh? What was you doing in that back yeah, seat? We went yeah. to the strip club. Yo, what's good, basketball heads? It's your boy, Crush. So let's talk about Jalen Green knocking up Drea Michelle. And Devin Booker trying to be a hero, you know, stepping in, trying to save the broad because Nick Young exposed her and said, you know, allegedly she gave Gilbert Arenas dome. And now dudes is trying to step in and said, oh, no, don't do that. That's his baby mother. Cut it out, man. This chick been around the NBA circles and the entertainment industry for a while now. She's been around. She's been dotting, running around, smashing dudes, been passed around. This dude decided he want to knock her up. I don't know why would you do that. It's all fair games, baby. I'm not stepping in to save no thought. No, I'm not going to save the broad. It is what it is. She was out here running around, you know, bopping everybody off, being a 304. And this dude, Jalen Breen, I mean, he fell in love I mean, I don't know if he knew she was a thot or not, but everybody knows she's been out here. She's an industry chick. She's been moving around, smashing rappers. Everybody done had some. And he decided he want to put a ring on it. Or better yet, he want to put a baby in it. It's all fair games, man. If you get a thot pregnant, it's all fair games when dudes start clowning you. You can't be mad. So here go Devin Booker and Patrick Beverly trying to save the... Come on, man. What part of the game is that? You got ways like a dame. How lame is that? Acting like a groupie around famous cats. And you ain't got no shame in that. You can't save them, man. So, you know, video surface of Nick Young reminiscing on the time Gilbert Arenas allegedly got domed from Dre and Michelle in the back of a car. And, you know, they're talking, laughing about it. And nobody's surprised. It's not like a shock. Everybody know this chick been around. She's been passed around from Gilbert Arenas, Diddy, Chris Brown. Everybody done had some. But this young and dumb kid decided, you know what? I'm going to put a baby in it. And everybody knows the only reason why, the only reason why she allowed him to knock her up is for financial security. The chick is basically 40. She knows no grown man take her seriously. No grown mature man who got their shit going take her seriously. And she knows this. So her only option is to go prey on these young dudes. All these young athletes. And that's what she's doing. The same exact thing Brittany Renner did when she got PJ Washington. This is the new come up. All these bras, all these industry 304s running around looking for young and dumb athletes or rappers or entertainers for that matter, who they could use and basically get a quick come up. That's the game. Sad enough, Jalen Greeny fell for it. All is fair in love and war, baby. So I don't know why Patrick Beverly and Devin Booker is talking about Nick Young disrespected her. Man, cut it out. She disrespected herself running around here being a thought. She's been disrespecting herself. So I don't know why these dudes is trying to play Superman talking about cut it out why are you disrespecting her why don't you tell her stop disrespecting herself so Devin Booker and Patrick Beverly they took the Twitter and they called out Nick Young because he exposed Drea Michelle he's not saying anything that we don't know everybody know she's an industry chick she's been in the game almost 20 years basically being a thought moving around smashing everybody her list is long her list is long. She have a long track record. So I don't know why they're trying to save her. Oh, be respectful. You know, man, cut it out, man.
Why don't you tell her to be respectful and stop being a thought? Why don't you do that? Instead of coming at dudes talking about be respectful when the chick don't even respect herself. Cut it out. I mean, I don't see the issue with it. They're just reminiscing on old times. What, you can't reminisce on old times? It's not like they said anything bad about her. They didn't call her out of her name. They didn't say anything bad about her beyond reminiscing and Nick Young saying, do you remember that time? That's about it, really. They didn't call her out of her name. They didn't do nothing over the top. Jalen Green messed up. Let's be honest. The dude effed up. You have all these other chicks out here, you know, and you decide you want to get a old dot pregnant. Come on, man. What part of the game is that? You got ways like a dame. How lame is that? Acting like a groupie around famous cats. And you ain't got no shame in that. I don't know why they're stepping in trying to defend her. Try to, you know, trying to defend Jalen Green. You made your bed, now lie in it. That's how I see it. She's a thought. All you got to do is stick to the game. Stick to the script. Y'all could be cool. You smash. You hang out. Keep it simple. But you want to put a baby in there. Next, you're going to want to jump the broom. And it's your life. You could do whatever you want. But don't be mad when dudes start clowning you, dudes start reminiscing on the past, telling stories when they skeeted. Don't be mad. That's the woman you chose. I don't know why. Dudes can't just stick to the game. Stick to the script. Smash. Keep it simple. We're cool. That's it. If you want to toss her a couple of dollars, whatever. But no, dudes want to take it one step further. We're going to have, you know, we're going to have a baby. And now when dudes start bringing up old stories and, you know, it comes off real disrespectful. Oh, well, you got to live with it. You made the decisions you made. She made the decisions she made. That's life. So I don't know why these dudes are stepping in trying to be heroes, talking about being respectful. No, all is fair in love and war, baby. All is fair in love and war. That's just how it is. Devin Booker is talking about they're supposed to be OGs. I mean, reminiscing and telling a story or looking back on the past, that don't mean they're not OGs. That don't make them bad. Once again, they didn't say anything bad about her. Like, it's not like they said she's a thought or no, they didn't say anything. All they did was look back in the past. They were reflecting on once upon a time. So what? So what? Why don't you be mad at the chick for being a thought and smashing everybody? I am sure she smashed half the industry. Why don't you be mad at her? So this is what Devin Booker had to say via tweet. Side note, y'all foul. Not cool. Not at all. Y'all old as hell talking about another man's lady. Not cool, gang. Him and Patrick Beverly said that. And who cares? Jalen Brown knew she was a thought. I'm sure he knew she was a thought. Or at least he knew she'd been out there. I mean, it's not like they're speaking on her and they had no interaction. They're just talking then that would be different. But Gilbert Arenas could relate to her. They had relations. So if you want to talk about it, you can't be mad and tell somebody they can't talk about it. That's a part of his story. This is what happens when you wife up thoughts, knowing these chicks get around, you can't stick to the script. And I know he's young and dumb. Let's be honest. Years from now, more than likely, he's going to look back on it and be like, damn. Yes, my child is a blessing, but I made a bad decision. Maybe. But you live and you learn. You got to choose wisely. It's that simple. Choose wisely. Don't just get anybody pregnant. You could smash whoever. That's a part of the game. That's what dudes do, man. That's normal behavior. If you're a guy, you're young, you have money, fame, you be smashing these thoughts. That's okay. That is normal behavior. But once you start getting them pregnant, and doing over-the-top madness, then don't be mad when dudes start clowning you and you start hearing stories, you know, stories and things start surfacing. Don't be mad. You choose to let off up in it. So you got to live with the results the same way she has to live with the results. She chose to run around for almost two decades, smashing dudes, being passed around, you know, being wild and crazy. Because all these bras, they love the life. They love the limelight. They're all chasing fame, money. And a lot of these dudes, they're not dumb. Some are, but most aren't. They'll string them along, you know, toss them a couple of dollars. 
use them for what they could get, and eventually they move on to somebody else. And that's the nature, that's a part of the game. So I don't see the problem. If that was my chick, I wouldn't feel a way about it. No, because that's the decision I made. Nobody told me to get her pregnant. I made that decision, so I got to live with the results. But at the end of the day, man, you got to choose your women wisely. You know, you can't just have kids with anybody. I mean, you can, but when dudes start talking and everybody's bringing up stories and saying, I smashed her, don't get mad about it. Because a lot of these dudes, they know these chicks. They get around. They know this already. And they still choose to have babies with them. You made your bed. Now lie in it. But as always, ahala. As always, we just talking basketball. Hit the subscribe button. Like, comment, share. Holla at your boy. It's all about the game and how you play it. It's all about the game. I'ma say it. It's all about the game.